एन के फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग कैडिस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑटोमोटिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो टुडेज एजेंडा इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फ्यूल कंट्रोल सिस्टम दीज आर द ब्रॉड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड देन दीज आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव टूडेज ऑब्जेक्टिव to understand the electronic fuel control system and to understand the electronic ignition system so this is the outline of today's lecture our main focus is on fuel control system so first we are going to discuss what is conversion efficiency the fuel conversion efficiency is defined as the ratio between the useful mechanical work produced by the engine and the input that is nothing but conversion efficiency so how much uh, chemical energy uh, is converted into the uh, mechanical energy that is nothing but uh, conversion efficiency so at stoichiometry ratio Uh, in previous lecture we have already seen uh, what is stoichiometry the optimum ratio of the air and fuel is nothing but stoichiometry acceptable uh, compromise between uh, nitrogen oxide carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon conversion efficiency is observed of 90% okay so at conversion efficiency 90% the amount of no co and sc is less so if you observe this graph uh, conversion efficiency versus air fuel ratio uh, the window is very very small that window is nothing but operating window and near 14.7 air fuel ratio the amount of nox that is nitrogen oxides Uh, co carbon monoxide and sc that is hydrocarbon the amount of these three parameters is less and therefore the air fuel ratio chosen is 14.7 a very narrow window of operation provided by the electronic control Uh, it is a control system uh, that precisely regulates uh, fuel delivery so that air fuel ratio will be at 14.7 as to 1 uh, that is nothing but electronic fuel control system so this is the block diagram of electronic fuel control system so initially there will be a air inlet at the input of tps that is throttle position sensor then uh, the output of tps is given to mf that is mass air flow sensor and from both tps and mf the outputs are given to the controller so sensing information is given to the controller then mass air flow output is given to the fuel injectors fi that is fuel injectors and according to the uh, mass air flow information and total position information the fuel injectors they are giving uh, output signal to the engine uh, at the same time engine is engine output is connected to the eps that is engine position sensor the engine position information is given to the controller and accordingly the controller uh, sends the output signal to ign that is uh, ignition system called as ign and then ignition system is turned on and the fuel enters into the cylinder and at the appropriate time that is when piston moves at the tds position top dead center position then uh, ignition takes place and that is managed by the controller 
and ignition takes place inside the cylinder okay and whatever burned gases are there those are taken out and at the output there is EGO uh, exhaust gas uh, oxygen sensor okay and its output uh, is given to the controller okay so in this way the electronic fuel control system works The EGO sensor generate a feedback signal for the controller input that depends upon air fuel ratio uh, in the intake mixture. Uh, this signal tells controller to adjust fuel flow rate uh, for the required air fuel ratio thus completing the loop. Uh, these are the engine control components. Uh, total there are uh, 19 components are shown in the diagram. Then here is the reflection spot. Uh, after studying the fuel control system in automotive vehicles, uh, just pause the video and tell me uh, how much is the conversion, conversion efficiency at air fuel ratio 14.7. So, pause the video and try to answer the question. The answer is the conversion efficiency at air fuel ratio 14.7 is highest that is 90 percent. Since the amount of NO nitrogen oxide then hydrocarbon SC and carbon monoxide CO is less at value 14.7 therefore conversion efficiency is 90 percent. And here is the summary of today's lecture. Since since the fuel is controlled by means of uh, electronic circuitry, the fuel economy is highly increased. Uh, this is the end of lesson number 9. In lesson number 10, uh, we are going to see electronic ignition control system. Thank you very much.